Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Kate, a physical therapist at Thompson Healthcare. And if you remember Becky from almost two months ago, she was post-op ACL surgery, um, and now we're roughly 10 weeks out. So we're just gonna give you a quick little update. Um, so about a month ago, we discharged the brace. So now she's able to walk, and she just returned to work about a week and a half ago as well. So one of the things we have Becky doing in physical therapy is the circuit style called an EMOM. So it's every minute on the minute. So what we have Becky do is each day I give her a list of four different exercises, and in a minute she has to complete a certain number of reps of each exercise. When she completes that, she rests until the next minute starts. So for example, we're gonna do a mini one right here. So Becky's first one is going to be a, a forward lunge. So Becky can and demonstrate. So we normally have a mirror in front of her to make sure that her knee doesn't collapse in as she's doing it. So usually we have her do about 10 reps, so that'll get her to about 40 seconds, and then she'll get a 20 second break before starting the next one. So then from there we go to a deadlift with the kettlebell. So this is a good one to really work the posterior aspect of the muscles. So she's really working the hamstrings and glutes here. So same thing, she does about 10 reps, Normally gets her to about 35, 40 seconds, and then she gets a break. Next one we have her do is a squat to a box. Um, so here we have it to close to parallel. Again, she does a certain number of reps, but we're really focusing, again, on keeping equal weight between the legs. So for Becky, we originally started with a mirror in front just to give her that visual feedback because it might be a very minuscule amount of weight shift that she's getting. So the last one we'll do is a lateral step down. So this is a really great single leg exercise for her. So whenever you're ready, Vic. So same thing, we're really focusing on keeping this knee over the toe here, preventing that collapse in that originally gave her the ACL injury in the first place. So right at the 10 week mark, um, following Becky's protocol, we're able to start doing some plyometric training. So plyometrics would be things like box jumps or any sort of jumping activity. But before we get to actually jumping, we're gonna work on her landing mechanics first. So what we have Becky doing is essentially just coming off the box, not a jump, and practicing landing. Again, preventing that collapse in. So Becky, if you don't mind showing, just a couple. Good. So you can see she's really focusing on keeping the knee over the toe again and not necessarily doing a full jump off of the step. So before we got to being able to do all of these exercises, we had to work a lot on getting Becky's full range back so that way she was able to participate in all of these without having any loss of range of motion. But a lot of it was due to Becky being um, very persistent at home and consistently doing her home exercises and stretching constantly. So that's a big part in ACL rehab. Going forward, we're gonna to try to work to get to Becky to being able to do any sort of jumping activity like box jumps and things like that, as well as returning her to running so that way if she does wanna participate again in some recreational soccer, she'll be able to.